G'day, my name's Grant Teaboon, also known as the Poor Man. In this session I'll be introducing you to the Big Leash remote training collar from Dogwatch Hidden Fence. For the past 30 years I've worked as a police dog handler with the Royal Australian Air Force, with 15 of those years as a, an instructor at the Military Working Dog Handler Training School. Since the mid-90s I've been using remote training collars to successfully extinguish and solve various troublesome behaviour issues as well as reinforce and polish desired behaviour in dogs. As the poor man, using a quality of remote training collar, like the big leash, helps me to polish and improve communication between the pet owner and the dog. Since unclear communication is the primary reason relationships between dogs and dog owners break down, when used correctly, the big leash will assist in solving these communication issues and result in a far more rewarding relationship with your dog. A remote training collar will not turn a bad trainer into a good trainer but it will enable a good trainer to become a great trainer. The Big Leash Collar was built from the ground up in consultation with professional dog trainers and animal behaviourists from around the world, myself among them. Training a dog is all about communication. In training a dog, the owner has an objective on what he or she wants their dog to perform. The key is to first teach the dog what you expect and then reinforce that expectation. The more effectively and clearly you communicate your needs to the dog, the quicker and easier the dog can learn what you want. This session will show that a remote training collar can be used to send a clear message to a dog of exactly what you want it to do. Great. Here we have Nutty. The issue Nutty's owner has is that he won't come when called. Before we start Nutty's training session, I'll consult with Nutty's owner, Michelle, and verify the OK to train using the big leash. OK, what we'd like to do with Nutty is we're going to use the remote training collar mm -hmm to communicate your intention to the dog by applying a bit of pressure to him that's okay. going to basically break him out of his focus on food. Okay. So should we do this? Yes. Good. In this case we'll use a 30 foot lightweight nylon tether. We'll then attach the rope to a collar other than the big leash and this will allow us to keep Nutty from getting out of our proximity of influence and still manage Nutty's movements. Allowing Nutty to wander off a bit, Michelle is going to call Nutty in a positive tone. Good boy. Nutty, come. Nutty ignores Michelle's recall Nutty, command come. as he's gone into sniffing mode and Nutty, isn't come. focusing on the command. I begin using the C or continuous button on a low stimulation level. Nutty starts to feel pressure or discomfort and begins to return to Michelle. As soon as Nutty starts returning towards his owner is when I release the C button. As he returns to Michelle, high verbal praise is delivered. Next we'll try and get Nutty further away. As Nutty feels as though he may be out of his owner's ability to command him, it gives us a perfect opportunity to teach him that distance is no longer a factor on whether or not to negotiate a command. Using a slightly higher stimulation level than before, Nutty is more responsive and consistent in his return. The final stage in the recall training using the big leash is to remove Nutty's tether and allow greater distance between Nutty and his owner. Now it's time to see how effective the big leash has been as a training tool. Michelle is now going to call Nutty while I prepare to give Nutty a stimulation from the collar. However, that's unnecessary, as Nutty has been properly conditioned and is returning to Michelle on command alone. Excellent. As mentioned at the start of the session, communication is paramount to building a strong relationship with your dog. Using the big leash enables us to deliver a correction from a distance, anonymously, and in no way hinders our ability to praise and reward the dog for good behaviour. Keeping in mind that each individual situation and problem warrants its own individual solutions. In these particular instances of recall, we are able to successfully get the dog to come when called. And more importantly, the owners are going to consistently use the Big Leash Remote Trainer to continue to practice the techniques and reinforce and polish the desired behaviour. Thanks for your attention, and don't forget, it's all about the dog and clear communication using the Big Leash Collar.